Get ready for the ride of your life. It's a bold new series that asks the most provocative questions and takes you wherever they lead. Every great journey begins with curiosity. Have you ever imagined that water is clear, and when it crystallizes into snow, its color is white? Let's talk about what we know about colors. The color of an object is simply a combination of the frequencies of light it reflects. If blue objects are seen in white light it absorbs all colors of the spectrum except blue, and hence appear blue. Some objects like water just let all the light incident on them pass right through and they're called transparent objects. While some others like butter paper, partially reflect and partially let through incident light, on them called translucent objects. Light doesn't easily pass through ice but bounces around a lot and sometimes reflects back, which is why we see ice crystals sometimes having white patches in them. Snow is made up of hundreds of tiny ice crystals which all partially absorb and partially scatter the light incident on them. So, the reason snowflakes and snow appear white is when you have so many partially reflecting surfaces, the light eventually bounces till it scatters right out and gets back to the viewer's eyes. Also, since all wavelengths get scattered approximately equally well, the snow appears white. This impartial scattering is only true for the outer layer of the snow. In fact, Ice crystals do have a preference when it comes to absorbing and scattering light and usually absorb more towards the red spectrum and less towards the blue. This is why holes dug in snow appear blue on the inside. The outer layer of snow looks primarily white because, as mentioned earlier, most of the light is reflected back. The fraction of the light that actually gets through has to undergo either scattering or absorption as it interacts with particles along the way and with sufficient depth. Significant absorption of red light occurs, resulting in most of the photons returning to the viewer's eye being a blue wavelength, making the snow look blue. This phenomenon is also true, while looking through a large chunk of ice and bright sunlight. By the time the photons make their way through the ice, most of the red side wavelengths have been absorbed, leaving only the blue side of the spectrum to hit the eye. That's why ice is white from outside, and blue from inside. <laughs>